is this correct? You did a movie in high school called G Man. Was is that what? What's G Man exactly? Yeah. So what happened was is that um, when I was in high school, I got a scholarship to go to a boarding school, like right outside the city. So it was called George School. So G Man was about uh, a, a a black superhero in this in this situation. It was kind of like that movie Blank Man that like Damon Wayans did back in the day. Classic. So it was a comedy. You know what I'm saying? So so we shot that bad boy. The school gave us an eight hundred dollar budget, man. We was balling. Eight hundred dollars. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, so we shot the movie, and uh, yeah, man, that was like the first time. And you know, my my friends that you know could draw did the posters. You know, again, you know, if you could act, so wh whatever your thing was, we was like, yo, get in the movie. We are gonna do it because it's something to do. And uh, yeah, that, that that kicked it off. Wow. Now I'm gonna run down some of your credits um, because I want to get into the whole fam meeting Will and, and the, the start of Rainforest. Now, any of y'all don't know, anybody watching, um, which I'm sure a lot of y'all do know, but he did the gospel, Stomp the Yard, Think Like a Man was a producer, Three Could Play That Game with Vivica A. Fox, No Good D with Idris El Elba, Taraji P. Henson, and been directing a, a ton of power episodes. Um, so, what made you move to uh, Florida in a 10 fam you? Hey man, you know, uh, my mom's got a job in Florida. And she was like, it was right before I went to college. She was like, yo, I need you to apply to some Florida schools so you can get this in-state, bruh, in case some other things don't work out for you. So I was, I wound up getting uh, a scholarship to fam and um and that's why i wound up going it was crazy because i didn't want to go to school in florida i wanted to go to school you know up north be around my friends and i thought i was going to this other school but didn't get enough money so i go to fam for the summer engineering program and my next door neighbor was a dude that was supposed to be going to school in philly but he didn't get as much money as he wanted and he wound up at fam and that was will so that was like my first homeboy and we were neighbors and uh, you know, you kind of jumped from there. That's crazy. And so yeah. who, who idea was it to do y'all first film like uh, Chocolate City? So uh, that was my idea. So uh, I wanted to be the filmmaker. Will wanted to be an entrepreneur. So what happened was is that- um, Oh, anybody don't know, he's talking about Will Packer. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So, <laughs> So Will Packer and me were were uh, were friends, and then we were uh, line brothers. We both pledged Alpha down at Fam together, and um, it was crazy because you know uh, we were both on different summer internships in, in engineering. So I was at NASA in in Alabama. He was in Motorola in South Florida, and I'm sitting over here seeing all these movies come out like Menace to Society and boomerang and stuff like that and i was like yo man you know i hate what i'm doing i hate this engineering thing and because i had done the g-man movie in high school a lot of my friends saw it and they were like yo you did something already so you a filmmaker right why don't you make another movie mm. so then that that became like the focus of like yeah you know what what if i do make a movie and so then i got some people together will was one of them he was an actor in the movie <laughs> then he became one of the producers of it. And then once it started popping, then he was like, Rob, this is a business, mm. you know? And then that kind of like got us together. And we started like thinking that maybe we could, we could really hustle that into a career or something. Now with Chocolate City, cause y'all made some money from Chocolate City, correct? Yeah, yeah. How did y'all go about the distribution and, and getting it out there to, to get and make money from an independently finance movie so so we shot Shaka City while we were students at FAMU the Florida Anime University as I like to call it hey straight and, up and uh hey man so um so we shot it but what we wanted to do is we wanted to make it something to where if you went to our school you felt like it was our thing so we had a premiere uh in Lee Hall like the main ballroom at our school and then we cut a deal with like the independent theater um, where they basically, we rented out the theater 
and we could charge what we wanted. And they had a video projector because we couldn't afford to cut the film. So we just had it finished on, on videotape. So they would, show, they would show our film, you know, with a video projection. So like the image was smaller than the actual film or whatever, but people paid, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we, had, we had folks that worked at the radio station. They had a little music video show, folks that worked over there. So they, they did all the marketing and it was always sold out. So when it was all said and done, we had like, you know, 10 bands in like a brown paper bag, legal money. Damn. So as like some broke high school, I mean, as some broke college kids, we were like, yo, they paid us to do what we love. Oh, it's a wrap. We doing this. What was, how you much know? money did y'all spend to make Chocolate City? Uh, well, it was, it would have cost 20000 You know what I'm saying? And I say would have because a lot of, some of the stuff we got donated because since we were like a state school, we like, you know, wrote letters and stuff like that to the different equipment houses. And then uh, they could like lend us the equipment since we had an advisor who, who was responsible for it. So they could write it off on their taxes. So a lot of the money that we should have had raised, we got it, you know, defer, you know, we, we got that. We didn't have to spend the cash because we got a lot of stuff donated. So probably in cash, we probably raised like 9000 Wow, that's amazing. And you know, I'm asking these questions because I'm sure there's a lot of film. And one of the reasons why I wanted to have you on is I know the independent struggle and hustle. Now I wouldn't say struggle, the independent hustle that you were on to get to where you're at. Uh, and so, especially nowadays with, with anybody could get a camera, you could shoot something on your cell phone. It's like, there's no excuse why you can't go out and accomplish something. Um, so I, I, I just want people to even hear like what you was doing even back then. And then it's like, okay, now after you done shot it, here's a way that you might could get it into a theater, you know, and, and get it, get it distributed. And then with all these streaming services nowadays, I mean, you know, it's just way more outlets nowadays.